Alright, I am tasked with making hammers. So, let's take a quick check of supplies. We'll probably be making them with some Ardite. Actually, probably full Ardite. Maybe full Ardite. Ah, oh, that's promising. pieces we're going to need for the hammer are tough tool rod, two large plates, and a hammer head. to check how much that was going to cost. And six twenty-two. So we're gonna let that smelt. And the idea be behind this hammer is Crazy awesome speed, um, which is what's going to happen with the Ardite. And the reason we're doing all Ardite is to mixing it with thalmium or paper or uh, some other head like cobalt is because the stone bound property that you get from Ardite actually stacks on itself. So the lower your durability, the faster you will actually break things. Um, so you get cumulative effects from the four different pieces, each having stone bound. It'll get ridiculously fast. Then, when it's low on durability, you modify the weapon with the uh, tinker table here, the tool forge, to add electricity to it, which is one battery and one circuit. I don't know if I can use this full battery, but we'll see. And that will give it the electric property. And what that does is it draws off the electricity in your suits or backpacks or other items that uh, you might be carrying around. Uh, while we're waiting on this to melt down. i run over here real quick and charge up my armor. This is our haunted house, made by Zuzu. It's the haunted house basement levels, which are unfinished mostly. charging here instead of our normal uh, charging station back at Full Circle Farms because this actually stores 10 million energy and it charges things much much quicker. And then once I'm done charging I'll leave and this will charge itself back up. Bad energy conversion rate because I'm using power armor. That's no, okay. All right, there we are. We'll melt it down. Let's 
start doing this. Double check to make sure we have. Oh, I have a lot in there. Might be making two hammers today. I failed to take note of the conversion rate of ore to ingots. So it's 17 in there. Alright, we'll come back to that. Let's get this hammer made. The great thing about hammers is they crush things. And they crush them in a 3x3 three three pattern, so super fast tunneling. They only can start out with three modifiers, but good durability. Uh, mining levels cobalt, but also mines ardite. I haven't seen anything that requires uh, manium, manium, however you pronounce it. So I don't even bother with those heads. basic name and here we have it mining speed of eight so real quick I'm just curious if we can add it using a full battery that's good some uh, recipes won't let you actually create things if the battery is full you have to use an empty battery that's why I was concerned about that all right so we're going to add, we are going to add a whole ton of redstone. And by a whole ton, I mean 100. So, and lapis, it's 50 blocks for full luck. Normally, I wouldn't do all 50, but we recently ran into a whole ton of lapis, and I'm feeling flush. Um, but as you use the hammers, they will actually gain uh, this luck level or lapis level will go up just automatically through use. And hammers go up pretty quickly if you do a lot of a lot of mining. But uh, I'm impatient. I want to get this to the guy who's ordered it, so I'll just do it all. So now we have mining speed of 13.33, uh, given to us by our haste. Uh, through the redstone, we also have Fortune 3, which is going to increase our drop rate of all everything, ores and, and whatnot. Uh, so that's good. We still have two uh, modifiers left that we can use if we put another star on it and we put a block of gold and a diamond on it. I'll show you that real quick. Oh, gold. So with that in there, you can either do the nether star and it'll add a modifier option, or you can do block of gold and diamond. And that will also add a modifier. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and use the nether star since we've got them. And this other stuff is generally easier to come by. And I am going to put an emerald on there. 
I haven't done extensive testing on this. Actually, I haven't done any testing on this. But as I understand it, because the high, it will have a higher durability, um, that will make it so that um, the loss of durability will be greater when it's longer durability, which will increase the mining speed even more so. So we're going to go with that. Here's our mostly finished product. Uh, what happens now is we put it to use, we knock the durability down to almost nothing, the mining speed will increase dramatically, and then we add the block of diamond, or the block of gold and the diamond. That'll give us our last modifier slot. And we'll throw the circuit and the battery on there to give it electricity. And you'll get something that looks similar to this. Now this is not a full art at hammer. Um, there's some cobalt on there. It's probably got a paper plate and a thalmium tool rod. It's one of my earlier hammers. Um, but as you can see, even with that kind of stuff, the mining speed is 31. And it runs off of electricity, so the durability never goes down. I didn't put Mossy on it, so the durability never goes up. It's always going to be the speed, unless I'm totally out of power and I'm using this. So, there we are. Crusher. Stonebound. Hard Eye Hammer. Good times. This one is going to my friend Woke as soon as he logs in.